Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to share this uh, makeup look. Um, it is fall and it is super grey outside so I thought it would be nice to do kind of like a fresh uh, pinkish makeup look and I hope you guys are gonna like it. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm starting with is this Laura Mercier foundation primer hydrating. Um, Winter is around the corner, it's fall right now and I already feel that my skin is like getting drier and drier. I have to say it's not it's not that cold um, in New York yet but I'm sure in like two weeks it's gonna be like freezing. So this is a good like hydrating cream and this will really make my foundation set well. I used to um, I used to skip this step a lot, so I wouldn't like start with a primer, and I really noticed that <laughs> in my um, in my foundation that I wouldn't set as well. So there we go, just like gently massaging it into my skin. Uh, you can actually use this on top of your. Um, on top of your sunscreen or on top of your like daily moisturizer like i did this morning okay then for my foundation i'm going to use the forever skin glow by dior and this is the number two and two and a half so for this look i kind of want to do like a very um very naturally naturally very natural glowy so i mix these together and applying these all over um yeah so i found a new palette of mine um the pillow talk and i've been wearing pillow talk from charlotte tilbury so much on my lips actually their lipstick but i've never tried the pillow talk um eyeshadow so that's what we're going to do today <laughs> I've seen like a couple of pictures like on Instagram of people like wearing it and I thought it was so pretty. Um, I believe they used that palette too for the VS show last year, but I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, so it's like a very light palette to just make you glow and beautiful. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I wet this one before and it's like brand new. <laughs> Oh, I love brand new beauty blenders because they feel like so clean. They're all actually very easy to wash as well, but um, I've, I've dropped mine in like dirty stuff. So I was like, okay, it's time for a new one. So. Then I'm going to use my Giorgio Armani uh, concealer in the color 3.5. Then I'm going to use this Dior Mineral Nude Matte, a little cush cushion, cushion, and adding this under my eyes. So, first always like the basic things right um, then I'm going to use this Anastasia brow pencil and I'm just making my eyebrows a little bit stronger So I'm never like a huge fan of really like drawing your eyebrows on where you don't have eyebrows. <laughs> I just always follow like my natural, um, my natural hair and I'm just making it like a little bit stronger and um, yeah, just give it a little bit more strength. So, and then I'm using an eyebrow gel. You can literally use everything, anything you want. I honestly use eyebrow gel like every day I would say 
I just really feel it makes such a big difference. If you don't have eyebrow gel, what I sometimes do if I like forget it, is just put like hairspray on a little, a little cam and just a little brush and just like brush it up. So the palette I was talking about is this Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury and it has this gorgeous kind of like pinkish colors. Um, so I'm starting off with uh, with the lightest one. It's actually very nice because they all like structure the palette where you where you go around like that. I don't think that's right. Yeah. So if you're kind of new to makeup and you don't really know like how to use one of their palettes, like that's kind of the order how they do it, and it also says it on the back, obviously. But it's not like you know sometimes you get a palette with like 20 colors and you don't really know where to start. Then this is like a super easy one. So I'm starting off with this one and I'm just moving this in my crease and I'm also adding this like on the inside because it has this like kind of like highlight effect. Taking a little smaller brush and the same color I'm also adding like underneath my eyes. And we're gonna take this second color. This is um, like a pinkish and this is more like a matte. I'm gonna create a little bit more depth. So I'm adding this on the outside and then in the crease. Then step three, we're gonna go in a little darker color and again a little on the outside and in the crease. Okay, we're gonna take this darker color with this little little brush and very lightly, I'm applying this underneath my eyes and kind of connecting, connecting that. So I was online on Instagram for a little bit and um, I saw already like the first like Halloween looks coming up, and it kind of made me very exciting that I was like, hmm, I'm gonna be in Tokyo this year for Halloween, and I'm really like thinking about already like what I'm going to be, what I'm going to dress up like because I am leaving New York already this week and yeah, I need to start packing. Obviously I can get probably get like a really cool costume as well in Japan, but if you guys have any recommendations as what I should like dress up, then let me know in the comments down below. Don't recommend like something too crazy, but I have to say I do really like a Halloween party and I like to dress up and like do like scary makeup and like dirty and yeah. Ooh. Just blending this a little bit more to the sides. And then last but not least I'm going to use this one. And I do have to say this one is not very strong because so you can use like quite a lot. And I'm applying this on top of the eyelid. Blending once more everything together, making the edges a little, little softer. Um, so there is no like kind of like white color in the palette. So I do use um, this one from Beauty Counter, and I'm going to use this very light color. Um, and this I'm applying just right underneath my eyebrows, just to give it like as a little extra extra glow and highlight is so beautiful it's my favorite <laughs> and I'm also adding a little on the inner corner of my eye and then to give my eyelashes like a little bit more of a look I'm going to use um, the classic eye powder pencil also from Charlotte Tilbury and this is like a dark brown and I just sharpen it. New beauty blender, sharp eye pencil, I'm so prepared. 
and I'm literally just gonna do like a super small like eyeliner look there. So sorry guys for the eyeliner I just had to use my bigger mirror instead of this little little camera because um, that was gonna be very hard. So now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I really like this um, this color actually, like the pinkish palette. It's very easy and beautiful. You could use this in fall, but winter, summer, every season. Okay. So when I was younger, I used to wear a lot, a lot of makeup. But when you think like, oh, like a lot and beautiful, no, it was so extremely bad. I was so much foundation. You couldn't see my skin, so much mascara. And I was do, always do like so many layers. Um, so kind of when I found this one, uh, it's my Dior Triple Volume Plumping Lash Primer. Um, I was like, hmm, I used to use that. And I haven't used it in so long, so because I want to get like my eyelashes really up, I'm going to use this primer first. You see, it's also like brand new. That'll be actually really fun for Halloween to experiment a little bit with different eyelashes. Maybe like all white, like an ice queen or something. Hmm, ideas. Or. I was just thinking just to go in a Pikachu suit because like that's always warm and then just to do like a red nose um, if I really cannot find a, an outfit. Actually, I kind of forgot. I want to I wanna try to do some little eyelashes. Okay, no fake lashes today. I uh, lost my tweezer. I'm like, I'm such a mess today. It's crazy. Um, because of that, I'm going to use my Tarte man eater mascara this is literally i've been using this for so long right now and this is the first time that i actually see it's called man eater i think it's kind of hilarious um so yeah my friend jillian was actually using this one in napa and she was like oh my god what is this this is amazing so it works really really uh works really really well So literally until a couple of weeks ago, I really like applied my make apparently my mascara wrong because I would always use the brush to like kind of color everything. But actually you just put your brush here and then you close your eyes how and that's how you can get it from the root. And that was actually a really, really good tip. So my eyes are done so i'm gonna go finish up my skin because i'm a little bit pale right now <laughs> um so for my um bronzer i'm going to use this hula one this is like a natural contour um, i'm not using it too big of a brush also another tip from one of my makeup artists was she was like you have a very small face so there's no need to use like giant brushes Then for my highlighter, I'm going to use this Loon Plus Aster Creamy Cheek Duo. It's a moonrise, it's like a bronzer, <laughs> bronzer, bronzer and a highlighter, um, highlighter in one. So I'm going to add that here and I'm just spreading this out with my finger. Also on my nose, on my cupid's bow. This is such an easy, um, easy stick while I'm traveling because it has like two variations in one. And it's a really nice subtle, um, subtle highlighter. Then I'm going to use this Too Faced Smoothing Finishing Finishing Powder. It's not really like a setting powder but it's just to um, just to finish up the skin make it a little less glowy in the spots there we go okay 
and we're gonna do our uh, lips i don't want to do like a super full lip liner everything because uh because of the eyes already doesn't need it um so i have this rouge dr it's a very nice kind of pinkish red um this is the color classic matte 772 and i'm going to use this very 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 light on my lips So, and I'm fading it out. Looks super bright on the camera though. Um, what I do like when you like apply a lipstick and you like fade it out with your fingers, I like that you can just put little eye of a eye balm, lip balm on top of it. Um, it doesn't like smudge it out because your lips kind of have that color. Um, so just for some extra gloss, I'm adding a little bit of uh, lip balm. So, and to finish off the skin, I'm going to use the Terracotta Garland, the light warm. I really love this. Just to give my face a little bronze, which I can really need here in the winter. So, there we go. And voila, the makeup look is ready. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this makeup tutorial. Um, uh, it was my first time using this eye palette and I actually really, really love it. Um, give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. And if you have any other questions for me, don't hesitate to ask. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.